is one. Heavy mission. Engine engine start. Lift off of the Antares A1 test mission from the Mars at Zero A at the Wallace Point facility. If you see nominal, attitude nominal. Power is nominal. Engines at 108 percent and nominal. Attitude nominal. Core pressures are nominal. Heat. Plus 30 seconds. TPC nominal. Engines at 104 and nominal. Attitude nominal. Avionics power is nominal. Attitude nominal. Core pressure is nominal. TPC is nominal. Altitude 10,000 feet. Engines are nominal. Power is nominal. TBC is nominal. Core pressure is nominal. Altitude 20,000 feet, velocity 900 feet per second. TBC is nominal. VNO3 on, core pressure is nominal. Vehicle passing through max Q, attitude nominal. Engines remain nominal. Altitude 50,000 feet, velocity 1,600 feet per second. EBC is nominal. Attitude nominal. BNG three encore pressures remain nominal. Beautiful view. Engines at 100% and nominal. Avionics power is nominal. E plus two minutes. EBC is nominal. Nominal. Core pressure is nominal. Altitude 100,000 feet. Engines remain nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. Approaching Miko. Core pressure is nominal. Kyle, we're coming up on main engine cutoff. Yep. Attitude nominal. That should come or so into flight. PVCs are nominal. Altitude 100. Stayed one throttle down. Two minutes to Miko. Core pressure is nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. EVCs are nominal. Engines are nominal. BNO4. Five and six are on. Core pressures remain nominal. Attitude nominal. EVC nominal. Standing by for engine throttle down. Altitude 250,000 feet. Core pressures nominal. Engines remain at 100% and nominal. T plus three minutes, 30 seconds. Throttle down has begun. Traveling about 7,200 miles. EVC is skewing out in preparation for the MECO event. Standing Back by for main stage main one MECO and main separation. MECO. ESS is disabled. We have stage one separation. Lower ACS is enabled. Four minutes, 20 seconds uh, into the flight. All as you hear, going very smoothly. 327 seconds sequence of time. Kyle, the next mark event will be fairing separation. Antares is now in a coast phase until proper conditions for fairing separation and stage two ignition are achieved. Power is nominal. Attitude nominal. Power nominal. That's a view inside the uh, fairing, right? Yeah. That's correct. View looking forward Power now. Power is nominal. Awaiting fairing separation and preparation for interstage separation and then stage two ignition. All systems remain nominal at this time. 
the onyx power is nominal. <laughs> Bearing separation. Interstate separation. Attitude nominal. Standing by for stage two ignition. Stage two ignition. Attitude nominal. Stage two ignition comes at an altitude of 117 miles. Power is nominal. Traveling 9,400 miles per hour. BBC nominal. So, Kyle, now we see an animated view of the vehicle, the second stage, power nominal. as reported, burning nominally. Attitude nominal. And um, looks like stage two burns for about two and a half minutes. That's correct. EVC nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. EVC remains nominal. Receiving direct uh, telemetry. Um, from the vehicle Power is nominal. Keep that corresponds to this animation. Attitude nominal and TVC steering is nominal. Avionics power is nominal. Attitude nominal, still good strong telemetry here in the RCC. Motor pressure is low. We have about one minute remaining before stage two uh, tail off begins and uh, the stage two coast phase begins uh, just a little bit after eight minutes into the flight. We're currently at seven minutes, ten seconds. Attitude is nominal. Kyle, there you see a great shot of the second stage uh, powered flight. Or is nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. EBC nominal. Attitude nominal. And we're standing by for stage two tail off. 20 seconds till burnout. Attitude is nominal. Motor pressures look good. EBC performance is nominal. Speed is now 16,600 miles per hour. Attitude nominal. T plus, eight minutes. Power is nominal. Attitude nominal. ABC is nominal. H2 tail off. H2 burnout, FTS disabled. And Terry's performance is nominal. First P pod separation. And Terry's is in orbit. Attitude nominal coast for roughly 100 seconds to allow residual thrust tail off prior to the test mission payload separation. Power is nominal. Attitude remains nominal. So Kyle, now we're in an unpowered coast until we come up to the second P5 separation. Mass simulator separation. As you hear Attitude nominal. being called, we're also deploying the secondary payloads that we discussed earlier. Smoothly, uh, that One Cygnus or there. the uh, mass simulator Attitude separation nominal. comes about 10 minutes, just about one minute from now. Attitude remains nominal, power remains nominal. All systems uh, for Antares remain nominal as we await payload separation. T plus nine minutes, 30 seconds, separation. That mass uh, simulator separation is uh, going to occur at an altitude of 158 statute miles, about 255 uh, kilometers. Attitude nominal. About uh, 15 seconds from separation. Power is nominal. T plus 10 minutes. Payload separation. Kyle, as you can see on the animation, <laughs> the payload has separated successfully. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful mission, and it's uh, uh, got just a few more mission minutes to go. Attitude is nominal. And Terry has delivered the A1 test mission payload into orbit. Missions all around in the range 
operations center there. And as you mentioned, uh, the mission itself has about eight more missions as we execute a collision avoidance maneuver on the upper stage with the attitude control system. And you'll see the, um, you won't see it necessarily on the animation, but uh, the collision avoidance that actually orients for that, it's a contamination collision avoidance maneuver that comes about, and we're at uh, 11 minutes right now. And uh, that's all we have here from uh, the control center and the RCC at Walt's Flight Facility. And you were listening to uh, Mike Dorsch, uh, after liftoff, uh, the Antares chief engineer, he was uh, making all those calls that you heard going all the way uphill. A beautiful, uh, beautiful day for uh, orbital sciences. Obviously, John, uh, congratulations to uh, the entire team. That was just a beautiful.